Welcome today to the breakfast talk. I'm excited as we are going to start this day where God has blessed us with many varieties of breakfast in Malaysia. And one of the dish that we have today is called roja or uh, it is an Indian roja or mama roja and it's called pasimbo uh, in Penang, roja pasimbo. It's actually a local a variety of uh, ingredients that has put in and, uh, and uh, this is something that you can get in most of the Indian restaurants or Indian Muslim restaurants and this is very popular even in throughout Malaysia, Singapore and also especially in Penang. So let me just give you what are the ingredients they have inside this roja called or uh, another, another name they have in Penang is Pasimbo, Roja Pasimbo. And uh, it has got potatoes, it has got cucumbers, it has got uh, octopus, uh, potatoes, bean curds, and uh, bean sprout, uh, sprout, and also uh, a lot of uh, uh, gravy that is, you see here, is actually peanut uh, crushed sauce that they made it and it's, it's got a very nice aroma and uh, most of Malaysians will know if you go to Indian, any Indian shop or any Indian Muslim shop you ask for roja they will give you this kind of dish and it's very popular people take this not only on breakfast time they also take until, until evening or any time they like to have this meal so I want you to enjoy today's breakfast with a nice coffee and a, a nice kind of meal. There is also egg added, uh, full boiled egg, and uh, you see a nice aroma that is coming forth from this morning breakfast. So I want you to enjoy this breakfast. Why not we pause for a while before we partake of breakfast. Let's look and hear this worship and come back with the word of God as you start this day with God, God is going to walk with you all the day of your life. Throughout this day will be blessed because God wants you to start with God first. Amen. To Jesus I surrender all To Him I freely give I will ever love and trust Him In His presence daily
Praise the Lord. I'm excited as you are going to enjoy today as your breakfast. And also I want you to enjoy the word of God because the word of God is life unto you. The word of God is going to open a new floodgate and a new season for your life. I believe everyone will go through seasons of life. Sometimes in our season, there are dry season, frustrated season, seasons of disappointment, seasons of failure. But God is saying, I'm bringing a new season into your life. And today I'm going to talk to you about season of recovery. Season of recovery. We need to recover everything the devil has stolen from our life. Because the devil is a liar. A devil is a cheater. The devil comes to kill, steal and rob everything that God pertained to our life. But this morning I'm excited because God is going to speak to you about a season of recovery for you and for me. There are certain situations might have happened, but that is not the aim of your life. But that is the beginning of your life to trust the Lord, to look to the Lord and start praying because a season of recovery is coming to your life. A season of recovery is coming to your career. A season of recovery is coming to your business. A season of recovery is coming to your family. I do not know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to some of the married people. There is a season of recovery in your marriage. There's a season of recovery in your marriage. God is pouring His Spirit and God is pouring a new season into your life. I want you to trust the Lord. Jesus is your deliverer. Jesus is a source of your life. Jesus is a new season for your life. I want you to change everything that you speak when you are going to walk into a new season of life. You need to have a new word in your language. You need to have a new voice uh, to proclaim and decree things in your life where God is able to change everything. Let's look at what the Bible says about a season of recovery. I believe even in the Bible, many servants of God has gone through certain seasons in their life. There was so much of victory, there was also failures in their life. There was also disappointments in their life. But if they have gone through, the Bible says, they are men and women of faith who has run and finished the race. How much more we can also learn from them and experience and change everything in our life so that we can have a new season in our life. Are you ready, church, to start a new season? Are you ready to tell the Lord, Oh God, give me a new season? The season of recovery is right now for you, right there for you today. I want you to turn your text to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 1 to verse 6. 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 1 to verse 6. I'm just going to summarize a little and I'm going to tell you a story what really happened to King David. All right. And David was greatly distressed for the people speak of stoning him. Now, look at this. David is a king who fought for the people, brought them great victory. And yet, there was a season in his life the people wanted to stone him because of failure and distress. Because the people's soul were grieved. Now, when people's soul are grieved, they will do anything but not the right thing. But today, as a new season has come upon your life, I don't want you to be like the people that surrounded King David. I want you to be a people that is surrounded 
by Jesus. Now here, these people were grieved. Because why? There was a tragedy that happened in their village. Because the enemy came and took captive of their children, their wife, and even David's wife and the family. They took captive and brought them. They did not kill them, but took away from David's town where David was staying. So that brought great grief, pain and suffering to all those people who went and fought, who came back with victory. But when they saw their family, there was so much of distress, depressed. The soul was waxed. The soul was so depressed. And because of all the turmoil they were going through, they said, I want, they wanted to kill and to stone King David, David himself. But the Lord did something marvelous. You know, when we go through this kind of season in our life, we can even become bitter. We can isolate ourselves. We can be frustrated and we can become angry with God. So my friend, if you are going through this season, there's only one way you and I can do. We need to change and repent and come back to God as fast as possible, as soon as possible and immediately. Because the answer is in the hands of God. The enemy will bring this kind of seasons of depression, seasons of failure, seasons of robbing everything from you. But our God is a great God, a God who recovers and there is a process of recovery you and I need to do. Now, what did David did when he lost everything? When people were angry, the soul of the people was so waxed and people wanted to stone David. But David, the Bible says, David did something very much different. David went and sought the Lord. So this morning, I want you to seek the face of God for your recovery plan. I want you to look to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm going through this, but I'm looking for a new season of recovery in my life, in my business, in my career, in the marriage. Now, here you see this man, they were so disappointed because the wife and the children were taken away captive and they were so were vexed and they were in trouble. But the sad portion of their life, they did not look to God because God is the source of everything. God is the source of their deliverer, but they look to their own strength and ability. Now, they turned to David and David got no other choice. David turned to God and seek the face of God. Now, this is the wisdom that God wants to bring into your life. If you and I are going to experience divine recovery, you and I need to do something. Here, David seek the face of God. What did David ask? David did not ask for anything. He says, Lord, what should I do? Shall I pursue the enemy and recover everybody that has been taken captive? When he began to wait in the presence of God for the new season of recovery, God spoke to him. He says, he says, go pursue after them and you can recover everyone. I believe God is speaking prophetically to all those who are listening to this message. He says, go pursue your enemy and you recover everything the enemy has stolen from your life. Go recover everything because God is giving you endorsement. And God says, you know, your season is right now. It's a season of recovery. How to recover the stolen properties that God is going to destine for your life. I know the enemy is a wicked one, but God has got an answer for you. Don't allow the spirit of discouragement to affect you. Number one, don't allow the spirit of discouragement to affect you 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 can be affected because you open the door for the spirit of discouragement to come so now you need to stand 
and say to the Lord, Oh God, I'm going to pursue after you and I'm going to have a new season in my life, a season of recovery and I'm going to get rid of all the spirit of discouragement, the thoughts of discouragement, the 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 heart of discouragement and all the friends who discourage you and I'm going to trust the Lord for a supernatural new season in your life, in your family, in your career, in your business. Hallelujah. Can, do, can God do that? Yes. God is a great God. God can do a supernatural work. God can release the anointing upon your life. And God is ready. He says, first thing, don't allow the spirit of discouragement. Here the devil brings the spirit of discouragement. So the same thing happened in the time of David. The devil brought spirit of discouragement and fear so that David will be shaken and the army will be shaken because they got the victory. They came back. They saw the family lost. They saw everything was taken. The wealth was taken. The house was burned and everything was destroyed. Now, they said, we were serving the Lord. We were trusting God. Everything was taken. What shall I do? But I want you to know, God can give you back sevenfold of the blessing of God upon your life. So now, first thing, don't allow the spirit of discouragement to affect our life, affect our thought, affect our spirit. Your spirit man is important. Keep your spirit man alive, excited through the word of God. Number two, make inquiries from God. David inquired the Lord in Psalms chapter, in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. David inquired of the Lord. He asked the Lord, Shall I go? Shall I find? What shall I do? And the Lord is a God who speaks. And the Lord spoke to David and he says, David, go and I will give you victory. You will re recover everything the devil has stolen from you. Everything the enemy has stolen from you. You will find victory. I thank God. I thank God because God is actually reigning and fighting over our life. I thank God God is going to see us through and God is going to give us victory. The book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but the dream fulfilled is a tree of life. I'm excited God is able to bring a hope into you. A dream for your life will come through because our heart will not get sick because God says I, there is a new season that is coming into your life. A season of recovery, a season of great blessing. I'd be excited, my friend. This is not the end of your life. This is the beginning of a new season. So don't be discouraged. Trust the Lord. Turn to Him. Ask the Lord. Speak to Him and you will definitely hear the voice of God coming to you. And God says, now is a season of recovery, a season of blessing. Be blessed of the Lord even today. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I know God is speaking to someone who's hearing this message. A new season is coming for you. A new hope is coming for you. A new spirit God is putting upon your life. And God is speaking to you that God is telling someone here there is a season of recovery. Everything that you have lost, even your money, your finance, your career, your family, your peace, your joy, your business, everything is going to be recovered in Jesus' name. Be blessed of the Lord and see the victory of the Lord in your life. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen.